Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a couple of devotionals with all of you. The first one is titled, Adrift. An amazing fact. On October 5th, 2010, three teenage boys from the remote South Pacific island of Atafu made a reckless decision. Without consulting their parents, the three cousins decided to attempt a journey across 50 miles of open ocean in a 12-foot aluminum boat to visit some girls from a neighboring island. They never made it. After weeks of searching, the two 15-year-olds and a 14-year-old were given up for dead. Hundreds gathered with their families to grieve and eulogize them in a memorial service. Then 50 days after the boys set out, a tuna boat was headed back to New Zealand by a route they didn't usually take when they spotted the boys waving frantically from their tiny vessel. Their craft had drifted nearly 800 miles to a desolate part of the Pacific Ocean northeast of Fiji. The boys were dehydrated, exhausted, and anemic with second-degree sunburns and fungal infections but they were alive. The boys told reporters that they had begun their journey in a drunken haze and soon passed out in the bottom of the boat. When they awoke, they had drifted out of sight of land. Eventually, they ran out of gas for their outboard motor. All their provisions, just 20 coconuts and a mayonnaise jar full of water were gone within the first six days. After that, they told their rescuers they survived by catching rainwater on a tarp and eating the few raw fish that happened to wash into their boat. Once they caught a seabird that landed on their boat, which they also ate raw. Their rescue came just in time. Medical staff said they wouldn't have lasted another week. The father of one of the boys told reporters that the entire village was so excited that they were crying, singing, hugging, and shouting the good news to each other in the streets. According to the Bible, a similar scene takes place in the streets of heaven each time one sinner repents. Jesus tells us that there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Luke 15, verse 7. And when we finally reach our heavenly home, God will do just what the father of the prodigal son did, bring out the best he has to celebrate our arrival. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found. Luke 15, verse 32. And that's the end of the first one. The last one I'd like to share with you is titled, Intelligent Crows. An amazing fact, we don't usually think of birds as being smart creatures. After all, that's where we get the expression, bird brain. But crows and ravens, both from the Corvidae family, are an exception. Researchers believe their clever, fun-loving, and witty behavior ranks crows and ravens with the intelligence of dogs and even chimps. Found just about everywhere in the world except South America, crows and ravens adapt well to almost any environment. Their omnivorous diet helps them thrive in cities and suburban areas in close association with humans. Crows demonstrate a sophisticated social behavior, playing tricks on each other and fabricating tools to get food. One crow was videotaped using leverage to bend a straight piece of wire into a hook. He then used the hook to fish a bucket of food from a deep tube. No other animal, not even a chimp, has ever spontaneously solved a problem like this. Crows have a highly developed system of communication that is passed on from one generation to another. Different clans of crows seem to speak with different dialects. Just like parrots, they can mimic the sounds of other animals and even the human voice. 
Crows can even be trained to speak. The world's oldest crow named Tata died in July 2006 as a fledgling. Tata was blown from her nest in a Long Island cemetery during a fierce thunderstorm. The baby crow with a broken wing was adopted by a local family. That was back in 1947. Tata never did learn to fly, but that might be one reason she lived 59 years. Ravens are 30% bigger than crows and also have among the largest brains of any bird. They typically live about 15 years in the wild, although lifespans of up to 40 years have been recorded. Did you know the Bible talks about ravens? The first bird ever mentioned in the Bible was a raven. The Bible says of Noah after the flood, Then he sent out a raven, which kept going to and fro until the waters had dried up from the earth. Genesis 8 verse 7 And Jesus told us we could learn from these wise birds. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? Luke 12, verse 24. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed there, to feed thee there. First Kings 17, verse 4. And that is the end of these devotionals. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.